So we've got the iPhone 11 Pro here in our hands. We just picked it up the other day and we wanted to go ahead and put the pro name to the test. So my wife and I are professional wedding photographers and we've been photographing weddings for about seven years now. And more and more the iPhone cameras just keep getting better and better. So with this three camera system, we wanted to go ahead and compare the results that we get from this camera to our professional DSLR uh, on an engagement shoot. So let's go out, let's test it out with our friends and see what we get. Apple, that three camera funny looking thing right there, uh, that delivered some amazing results. iPhone 11 Pro, I think was a little premature because I don't think this is gonna be replacing our DSLR anytime soon, but there were some cases where we brought this into the computer and Lauren and I were thinking that these photos were our professional DSLR photos. Um, there are a lot of instances where this doesn't work uh, it does some weird artifacting around the edges and stuff like that. We'll take a look at that on the computer. But um, in a pinch, this thing would deliver some awesome images for our clients. And we were really excited to give these to our clients um, once we were done with this shoot. So let's take a look. Let's sit down at the computer and we're going to have you guys guess which one's the iPhone image and which one's the professional DSLR image. Let's take a look. All right, everybody, let's do this thing. So. Now that we've got all the photos in the computer, I set it up so we've got it side by side. We can compare iPhone 11 Pro to our 5D Mark IV DSLR camera. Um, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and bump your resolution up on the video to as high as possible so you can just see all the detail in the photo as much as you can. I know YouTube compresses stuff, whatever. But for this first one, we've got Cameron and Sean. Um, these guys are our good friends. So a big thank you to Cameron and Sean for coming out and modeling for us on this engagement shoot. Um, they're adorable as you can see and we had a lot of fun with them so big thanks to Cameron and Sean. On this shot we had them sit on, sitting on the rock. We have them kind of giggling laughing at each other. If you guys had to guess A or B, which one do you think is iPhone and which one do you think is our 5D Mark IV? A is our iPhone 11 Pro and B is our 5D Mark IV. Let's move on to the next one. All right, looking at these two side by side, we had Cameron and Sean walking towards us and we wanted to just see how the iPhone did in sort of like an action style shot while they were moving. So which one do you guys think for this one? A or B for the iPhone and the 5D Mark IV? All right, if you guessed A for the iPhone, you would be incorrect. That one is actually the 5D Mark IV and B is our iPhone 11 Pro. All right, next one. All right, I think this one's a little bit more obvious. You can probably uh, tell which one's which here. If you don't know, if you, if, you, if you weren't able to pick up on this one, I'll give you a big clue. On the right-hand side, you've got that big sun flare coming through, and um, on the left side, that sun flare has actually been brought back, and that's because the iPhone has this technology built in basically that does this computational sort of processing within the phone that's able to bring back all that detail, whereas our DSLR can't do that. So obviously for this one, B is our DSLR and A is the iPhone. Kind of really like the iPhone on this one because sometimes that sun flare can be overpowering and you can, it can muddy up sometimes the images and you're able to see so much more detail in the grass. You're able to see the couple a lot more easily in this photo. So. I'm a big fan of A in this one, but at the same time, it's all personal preference. I still love B, but uh, it's kind of cool to see how that turned out. So for this one, I was really impressed until I zoomed in. Um, and then obviously, if you zoom in, uh, you'll see that A is our iPhone, because if you look at the side of his arm, Cameron's arm here, 
you just see all this detail in between his arm and his shirt. And the, this is where the iPhone 11 Pro struggles. This is just going to be where it has to catch up and what it has to, to learn. I mean, and I'm sure we're not far off from that. When Apple starts to nail these details, I mean, we're going to be having our iPhone 11 Pro out all the time on engagement shoots. All right, so we did a little shot in the shade here and had them look at each other. Which one do you think, A or B for iPhone and 5D Mark IV? All right, if you guess A for the iPhone, you would be correct. That's the iPhone 11 Pro and B is our DSLR. I think they're super comparable. I think that if you look at them side by side, it's pretty hard to tell. I mean, obviously the iPhone 11, I think just turns out a little bit more saturated and you see more color. Um, so it was hard to get that to kind of match up perfectly with our camera. Um, but I think side by side, it's pretty deceptive and I could deliver that to a client and they would have no idea that that was taken on an iPhone. If you do zoom in on Cameron's arm again, that's where you see the mistake that was made by the iPhone 11 Pro where it's just too tight of a gap and it couldn't figure out that that was actually the background. On this next one, we had Cameron and Sean. This was starting to become lower light. The sun was setting and normally when we shot on the iPhone in the past, it hasn't been able to bring back so much detail. It's had a lot of graininess and grittiness when it gets darker. And for this one, I was super impressed with the iPhone. It just, I mean, there was no way to really perfectly tell that that was an iPhone image versus our DSLR, unless you really looked closely. So which one do you think was which? All right, if you guessed A for the iPhone 11 Pro, you are right, good work, and B is our DSLR. But again, I mean, that's pretty impressive for um, sort of a darker setting. And so for this last one, I just wanted to give an example of the difference between portrait mode and not using portrait mode on the iPhone 11 Pro. On the first shot, portrait mode is off and they're walking, coming towards us. And then I turned it on for a similar scene and you can see the background, the trees, the grass, it starts to gradually blur and that's what you're getting with the Pro. And that's what we were going for for this whole shoot was how can we get it to look most like our DSLR? And that's where this portrait mode's coming in. And it's just super impressive. I mean, in this shot, Cameron and Sean were walking towards us. If you were to zoom in on a couple parts of this image, you'd notice some weird stuff going on. You know, I'll zoom into Cameron's shoes here and you can see some detail in there that's kind of wonky. But I mean, it's a really great image and they look really good. They look really happy. They, I mean, all things about it seem professional to me. So. I love that image and, and would totally want to give that to them. And then last but not least, I just wanted to show this image. This was taken on the iPhone 11 Pro and it's just one of my favorite images from the whole shoot in general. We don't have a comparable one from our DSLR, but it's just such a clear, rich image. The depth of field is really nice. There's no weird sort of like stuff going on around the edges of their body. It just looks like a really clean professional image and I, I guarantee you 99% of couples that we would shoot for, we could deliver this image and they would love it because it's just so clear, so good, and the sun flare just looks awesome in this image. So uh, I just wanted to give that example of something that we would want to deliver to our client from the iPhone 11 Pro. And I mean, a lot of these we would deliver and just have fun saying like, hey, these were shot on our iPhone, take a look. and. Um, you know, it's just a cool way to be able to deliver images really fast. So if we go on a shoot, maybe we'll have both of us shooting on a professional DSLR, but then we'll shoot a few on the iPhone and, and who knows, maybe that's going to be their favorite images and we just send them right after the shoot. We can edit them on our phone and that's it. All right. So that was the side by side comparison of the iPhone 11 Pro to our DSLR. Really interested to hear what you guys thought. Did you guys get fooled by this camera or did you know exactly which one was which? Let us know in the comments below. Um, if you guys are in the market for a new phone, like highly, highly recommend the iPhone 11 Pro for being the best camera in any smartphone we've ever used. You'll be able to get images similar to what we got on our engagement shoot and uh, so much more. Landscape images are going to be more detailed. It's going to have better low light performance for that new night shot mode. Um, but for our purposes, this is a really fun way to mess around with uh, an iPhone and, and compare it to our DSLR. So, we're a new channel. 
hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Let us know in the comments below what else you wanna see. Maybe we'll put a tutorial out on how we got some of those images, something like that. Um, and if you wanna follow our wedding photography work, check us out at Iker Photography on Instagram. Thanks everybody, bye.